Hey guys, what up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to clean your dirty lashes. So first off, we're going to need some alcohol. And second, some castor oil. But you can use any kind of oil. I prefer castor oil. And third, you're going to need some spoolies. One for the dirty lashes and one for the clean lashes. Fourth, you're going to need some cotton swabs. I approximately like to use six, but you can use as many as you want. And some tweezers, obviously, to get that stubborn glue that doesn't want to come off. And of course, you need the dirty lashes. And for those of you wondering, these are Kiss Lashes. I know one of them is Ritzy, but I don't know which one is the other one, so. And lastly, you will just need either toilet paper or just regular napkins, whatever you prefer. So first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate each pair into its own little square of toilet paper. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the tweezers and I'm going to start taking off the glue from the edges. You can use your fingernails if you wanted to, but because I have my nails done, I don't want to mess them up with trying to get all that glue off with my own fingernails. Plus, using a tweezer just makes it much more easier like really getting in there and taking off that stubborn glue that just doesn't want to come off. But I've also had in the past where I have tried taking the glue off with my own fingernails and it just rips. And it's usually with this type of band that I've noticed the glue, like as I'm pulling the glue off, it'll rip the lash. And that's no fun, especially because the lashes are still in really good condition. All you need to do is just clean them. So yeah, I've noticed that just using a tweezer just makes it much easier with not ripping your lash and also like it just gets the job done faster. Usually what I do is if I have a couple different pairs of lashes that need to be cleaned, I'll take the glue off all of them and then I'll like move on to the next step which is using castor oil or baby oil or whatever type of oil is around. Lately I've been really into castor oil just because it does, I've noticed that it leaves them nice and shiny, but not oily, if that makes sense. Even just to remove my eye makeup, I've been really leaning towards castor oil because it really does condition my real lashes, and especially because I'm always wearing falsies. Sometimes so when you go to like take off your lashes, um, the glue can pull off your natural lashes. And so castor oil has a lot of vitamins that actually help enhance the process of growth for your own natural lashes. So now what I'm doing is with a cotton swab, I'm just going in, really getting in there. As you can see, like I'm like putting pressure on the lash band just to make sure that I don't rip off the individual lashes. Now grabbing one of the spoolies, I'm gonna go in and brush the lashes through just to try to separate as many of those lashes as I possibly can just to make it easier for me to be able to break through but also take off as much of that dried up mascara that is on the lashes. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be tossing this square of toilet paper out and switching it in for a new one because these lashes are not ready for the next step. So what I'm going to do here for these ones, same thing, apply the castor oil, try to get as much of that dried up mascara off as I possibly can. One thing that I did not mention was that you really want to soak up that lash with whatever oil you choose to use just because it does break it down easier and it makes it much more easier for you to just like really really get in there and take off all that dried up mascara. And just in case you didn't notice, I tried to make sure that the two different types of lashes that I actually am cleaning for this video, one band is thicker than the other one, which is this one is a clear band, meaning it's a much more fragile band. You run the risk of actually breaking the lash apart if you're not careful with it.
Now what I'm just going to do is I'm going to clean up because I'm now done with the castor oil and we're now going to move on to the next step. But before we do, you want to go ahead and make sure you go and wash your hands and get rid of any of that excess oil that was left on your hands. Alright, as for the last and final step, we're going to go in with alcohol and a clean spoolie and two clean cotton swabs. And so what I'm just doing is I'm pouring the alcohol into this little cuppy just because it makes it much easier for me to dip the cotton swab on there. And I'm actually going to run that alcohol, literally soak the lashes up as much as I can with the alcohol and just start rubbing them to make sure that I can get rid of any excess oil that was left on there along with any leftover mascara that I might have missed when I was cleaning them with the castor oil. So yeah, you just want to do this step to all of the lashes until you feel like they don't have any oil residue on them left anymore because that is one thing that you want to make sure that there is no oil left on them otherwise when you go to put on these lashes again the glue just isn't going to adhere to the lashes nor is the lash going to adhere to your eye so yeah just make sure that you soak the lashes up with alcohol eventually like it will feel like there is absolutely no oil on them but they'll begin to feel like they're like baby hair soft and so that's when you'll know that they're good to go and you're just and you're done As for the last and final step, you want to go ahead and grab that clean spoolie and brush through the lashes to make sure there is nothing stuck in between each individual lash. And yeah, just play with it, feel it up, make sure that there is absolutely no oil. They will legit feel like brand new lashes. And so yeah, now I am all done. I hope this video was super, super helpful to all of you and that you were able to learn a couple things here and there but yeah that is it you guys i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you guys next time don't forget to like subscribe follow me on social media and give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful for you love you guys see you guys next time